Hi Scorpio, welcome back to your channel. It is your girl Juliana, aka the Secret Tarot. You know that you are welcome here if you are new. And if you are returning to the channel, I welcome you guys back with open arms. You know you're a diamond. Please continue to shine like a diamond. We're going to get into a prayer, you guys. This is going to be your next 48 hours, Gemini. So let's get into a prayer, tap into your energy, and pull in your messages. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that need to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so Scorpio, um, just know that this reading is a general and not a personal reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the absolute rest. It can pick up your person's energy, past, present, or future person, even for the cross watchers who are watching. Same applies to you guys as well. Now, personal reading is also available here on the channel. It's simple to connect with me. Just go ahead and check in the description of this video and you'll see exactly how to do so. All right, let's get you an angel that got you guys. The angel that comes through for the next 48 hours for you guys is the angel that will assist me with this reading today. And this is the angel that you write on white or parchment paper um, and put it under your pillow while you guys sleep tonight, okay? All right, what's the angel here, please? Next 48. This is the angel of inspiration. The angels of inspiration will be um, the 18th angel in line. So thank you, angels, for coming through to assist me with this reading for Scorpio the next 48 hours. We appreciate you. All right. All right, Scorpio, I hope you're having a blessed um, Sunday. It is Sunday, you guys, and it's raining here in Atlanta, as I presently do your read, but rain is a blessing. Amen. So let's see, what is your challenge for the next 48 hours? Angels of Inspiration, what is the challenge here? Please, for Scorpio, and thank you. Oh, you got a lot of challenges coming through, you guys. Let's see. Let's see what your challenge is. What's your main challenge? What is your challenge here? Scorpio, what is your challenge? What's your challenge? Okay. You see, you have a lot. You know what? Let's go ahead and pull that through. All right. Okay, so I'm getting a light here for your challenge, a light in acceptance here. So there's definitely something that you are trying to clarify or something that you're trying to either accept or not. Um, there's this light that is there. Someone may be not following a light here, the light of decisions, a light of salvation, a light of the universe or something. Someone is either in acceptance or acceptance or this is something that shouldn't be. But at the end of the day, someone is really worrying here. Someone is worrying. Someone is very worried here about what's going on. Let's see. What is on the back of the deck is nature. So you're going to have to separate yourself from this and start praying to your ancestors here. Calling on the ancestors to help you and to guide you into the decision that you need to make here. There's a decision that's needed to be made here. This is your challenge, a decision, okay? So someone is either in acceptance or this is what you need to see a situation for what it really truly is. But someone is worrying and worrying and worrying. And I'm hearing that it's not solving anything here. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's happening with your challenge here, okay? Because this is a... This is quite a lot. Scorpio. Okay. Angels of inspiration. Maybe for some of you, you just need to be inspired by yourself here. And see yourself. Take a look in the mirror and see the reflection who's looking back. The Eight of Cups in the reverse. So there's a decision that's coming through here. Maybe for some of you, a decision is uh, has not yet made. Hmm. Okay. All right, what is the Eight of Cups in the reverse? 
What is the Eight of Cups in the reverse? Okay, so the Eight of Cups in the reverse is the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse is a temperance. So angels is, is, let's just say the angels are not very happy at this point, okay? Um, the angels are really working on your behalf here. They're trying to cleanse the energy of what is not seen. For some of you, for some of you are having a hard time seeing what is there, what is happening in your life with the light. This is the angels of light, the light. This guy is a guidance to where you need to go to make this decision, to make this choice. Um, and, and, and know that if this is what you're dealing with right now, your next 48 hours is saying that there's something that is calling for clarity. And for some of you, you definitely have met that clarity because whatever clarity that you've already seen, for some of you having a hard time accepting what you have seen here, because this decision that needs to be made here, someone is yet to make it. Even though the clarity is there, even though there's no abundance coming in here, even though you're making plans here with your stability and want the balance and everything, the fruit of your labor and manifesting your life here with the seven of pentacles here, that's in the reverse, okay? So something has been blocked here. Something is not happening. Uh, some, some, some of you may be having financial issue here. This could be what's connected to you, but someone is uh, taking a leap of something here. Someone took a chance and the chance backfired the ten of pentacles in the reverse because someone is very stubborn here. This sword. What's going on here? What's going on, Scorpio? Oh, my goodness. What is the temperance in the reverse here? The two of cups in the reverse. All right. So whatever you... Let's just say whatever you have invested already. Someone is not being appreciative, okay? Because they might have put your relationship on pause here. This person might have either stopped loving you or stopped showing affection or this person might have gotten very cold here, cold as ice. We're talking about the Alaskan cold, okay? Frigid ass cold. I swear the snow never melts. Oh my gosh. Let's tap into that two of um, cups here. Because I feel like Why am I feeling like this person is a work in progress? This person is a work in progress. Some There's something that's in your energy here, um, Scorpio. This person is definitely a piece of work, okay? Um, and here's something about a phone call or something. Someone might have tried to call or this could have been you. But someone is being um, very stubborn. Uh, uh, this is all about ego here. Ego. This person is, is stopping an energy, even though you want to build something here, even though you see this person as the one, even though you want to give this person all of you, the nine of cups. But this time that you give us another situation, all of you here, this is all about manifestation of what's in here and what's to come. All right, the nine of cups. The nine of cups is the eight of wands. The eight of wands in the reverse and the five of wands in the reverse. So there's a lot of conflicts here. Um, and there's a lot of choices here, okay? If someone has either not made one yet that's connected to you or they might have done that because they're cold as hell or this could be you that's dealing with a lot of conflicts that you're either about to block or this could be them that's going to block you because they maybe feel like you're the one that's bringing in conflicts or maybe it's a toy, right? But something is changing here because someone is tired of being sick and tired here, Okay. There's definitely a struggle here. This struggle is calling in for peace. Peace. Because someone wants to start fresh. Someone wants to start fresh. Someone wants them to move forward, okay? Um, angels of inspiration. I do feel like for some of you guys, you're either feeling very broken here. Broken. And broken is an understatement, okay? Broken in every single way. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. <laughs> the Queen of Wands is Six of Pentacles. See, you, you, you are on the authority here. And you're able to wear your crown with pride here. And you're able to manifest what you want. And you're able to stand your ground here. But you have lizards all around you, okay? You have lizards all around you. And you have someone that, something that is lurking in the dark. In the darkness, okay? 
You have given all that you can, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse, but did not give it back anything towards you, the devil here in the reverse. So something is, is done with. You, this could be your, this could be that, but someone is, someone has been, is saying, you know what, I'm done. Um, this Alaskan cold here is, is really kicking my, you know where. <laughs> okay. Because this person is a work in progress. Big time. Big time. This person is a work in, pro in progress. But I do feel like there's either some kind of a reconciliation that is coming in. This could be them that wants to reconciliate the situation. Or this could be you. But someone is hoping to try something here, even though they know that this person is as cold as ice. They're coming back stronger. Right, let's see what angels are saying here. What is the next 48? All right, so the next 48 is giving me that there's an adjustment here, okay? There's some kind of adjustment that is needed here because there's a thinking man here. Okay, just know that that thinking man could go in the reverse as a thinking woman, but it did bring in the first chakra archangel Michael. Okay, um, and the angel did bring through the fourth chakra archangel Raphael to assist them. They're telling me that there's a contract here. This contract is calling for balance here. And, and, and some kind of a, a stability here, but someone is blinded by what they can't see or what they're not allowing themselves to see. Now I'm hearing the door of spirit here, but that's in the reverse. How the hell are you going to see the door if you're, I got your eyes closed, right? All right, let's see. Hmm. Rest and rejuvenate. So someone is not doing that because that showed in the reverse. woman holding a coin here so there, this could be you that needs to manifest your life here maybe you need to connect to um a situation of love and light here um taking back your power and your peace here manifesting and asking angels to guide you into where to turn and where to go and who comes and who damn stays here what is this whole this woman holding a coin here there. Okay, so this woman is on a journey. Okay, angel is saying that you're on a journey. The journey is called the journey of love. Okay, now I'm hearing the the healer on the ages here. So someone is needing to heal a situation here because you're worrying too much. Okay, there's a lot of worry that's happening here. Someone is calling in. Something is calling in for healing, healing, and more healing. Someone's having a hard time healing up their broken heart here. This, this this thinking woman, okay? And that could go for the thinking man here, but there's an angel here that's assisting you um, to balance your situation. And in, in abundance, blossoming in abundance here because you've been deceited. Um, there's, <laughs> this person has definitely deceited, okay? Deceited you, okay? This, or this is how you feel within yourself. Now, I'm hearing indecision. So someone needs to make a decision here. You're going down this path. And there's two sides and you need to make a choice. Both sides look the same, honey. But believe me, they're not the damn same, okay? Somebody's not using their third eye here. Your third, here, third eye has given me hospitality, okay? Now your hospitality is coming through with a, with a sword. So someone is fighting here. And this fight is caused because there's a man that's holding your heart. And that could also go in the reverse. Now, I'm hearing the world is yours here. But there's a door to romance that is coming in. This door to the romance is in the reverse, okay? In the reverse, you guys. So this is not a romance. This is something else. The door to value is the one that you need to open, okay? Let me let me go back. Let me go back, you guys. Okay. All right, okay, Scorpio. Your next 48 hours is telling me that it's time that you fix some things. We have the sixth chakra here. Archangel Metatron, okay? This angel is telling me that you've been dealing with anxiety. Big time. Okay? Things are changing. It's time that you manifest your life in accordance here. Now that manifestation period is giving me the garden and the gate here. Um, that gate is, is being assisted to you by the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, okay? Now this angel is telling me that victory is coming in towards you. The victory is coming towards you with something new. 
this man that is holding a coin, the King of Pentacles. Okay. Um, Archangel of Strength is also here. Your strength is needed for change because you've suffered a broken heart. They're saying that you just have to walk away. You have to walk away because you will found yourself attached to a situation here. Okay. Um, now you're asking yourself, is the situation that I'm attached, attached to bringing me anything that has to do with a new start, a fertility, or whatever, okay? I see you dealing with a storm warning, or that is coming. Um, this storm one is also attached to your financial constraint, all right? But I do see you've been celebrated. So some, that tells me that something is changing abruptly here. The temple of your path, there's, for some of you, maybe you're getting ready to remove yourself from where you are right now. Maybe you're getting ready to buy a house or rent a place or buy a car or something, Okay, because I see you being appreciated or showing appreciation for this situation. I'm seeing for some of you, um, Scarpia, you're either planning on amending something with family and friends here. Victory is what I'm hearing. The door to personal healing and happiness. Okay, um, but I also feel like you've been struggling with a lot of things that are in the energy that has to do a lot with envy. So you definitely have jealous hearted people that is really tapping into your energy. What is this? This is strong. Okay. This is the yang yang. Okay. So the yang yang is giving me um, that you are, have a caring connection that is coming through. So not all the family members are bad. Okay. Not all friends and family are bad is what I'm hearing. The differences. Just take what you can and leave the rest. Okay. What is the next 48? Please clarify these messages for Scorpio, please. Next 48. What's the next 48? What's the next 48, please? All right. So the next 48 is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is the hangman. Okay. Hmm. Wow. So see, there's something that is changing here, and it's called an apology here. Someone is coming towards it with some kind of a reconciliation or a chance to get back in your good graces here. But see, um, <laughs> this person is really watching you. They might have felt that you might have met someone else, that might you might have moved on, or this could be you, okay? But whatever they're coming in with has not been manifested here because I do see the Ace of Pentacles being here. So things are not yet changed as far as what, where they need to change in their life in order to come back towards it with anything that has to do with a reconciliation. And this Eight of Swords is also here. So for some of you, you're either still feeling very restrained here or very tied down or very stuck here. For some of you, you're either still feeling like this person might have betrayed you times 10 or you're still dealing with that or this could be them. Roles could be reversed, okay? Roles could be reversed, my darlings. All right, angels of inspiration. What is the ace of swords? What is the eight of swords? What's the eight of swords? The eight of swords is the four of swords in the reverse. So you already know. You've rested. You've thought about this already. As is, you know, it's time that you make your move. The seven of cups here in the reverse. There's something that is coming true, but someone is blocking something here. Something that is blocked. But whatever they've been blocking, they can't change anything because I see luck coming in. Um, I see you healing from this anxiety. Um, you're moving into something bigger and better here. You're ending a cycle. You're starting something new here. You're moving forward into victory. The Nine of Wands, the Star here, the Page of Cups. Okay, so you already know what's not given and what is. Okay. All right, clarify that, please. The next 48. Please clarify the Nine of Wands. What is the nine of wands? What is the nine of wands? Okay, so the nine of wands is the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles is a knight of wands in the reverse. And then we have the nine of pentacles. All right, so there's a juggle here. Someone is either having a, is either having a hard time to evaluate left or right or right or left or up or down. Or down or up here there's a feeling of oh my goodness i'm struggling and i can't make a decision here okay it could be love or money money or love or love and love or money and money however you take it but someone is struggling here now this knight 
is as fake as they come manipulation anything that is coming in and you have to be very careful because you're on a journey right now a spiritual journey to manifest in your life and getting yourself together accepting what you need to accept in order for you to come to be on this journey this path this manifestation nine of pentacles brings to the light here brings to that you shouldn't worry any further okay you're healing you're moving forward the five of cups someone is regretful here hurt Okay, because of what they might have done, love is coming through in the form of a, a knight of cups here, or this person's wanting to come back to you with some kind of a second offer here. It could be a fifth offer, who knows? But someone is still confused here. Confused. But because you're the high priestess, you already see the situation for what it really is. You're using your intuition, you're using your spiritual connection to the universe here, to your spirit guides here, and you're using your strength. To block whatever this person is coming towards you with. Because see. This person is not as smart as they think here. And this is why their energy is in the reverse. And you cannot allow them to stop new love opportunity that may be coming in towards you. Something brand new here. Um, for some of you having a harder time than those with a magician in the reverse and the six of swords in the reverse. Right? So there's a choice that is coming through as I'm moving forward into making this choice. And it is needed because you've already been sold a dollar and ten dreams already. Okay? Um, you have rested about it. You thought about this person will not change it. Hold on to the way that they feel here, even though they sometimes give you an initial thought that they are ready to change, but they still fall short. Is what I'm seeing. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse here. Something has been blocked. The Ten of Cups also in the reverse. They put an end to the dream and they bring toxicity into your life here with the Lovers card also being here in the reverse. Judgment is also here, my darlings. Judgment is taken, is told here. Someone is going to get a karmic payback for what they might have done here. You have to let judgment do what it needs to do. There's an opportunity that is coming that you have to embrace and get ready for that. You've already dealt with a third party trauma, hurt and pain and Everything that comes with this betrayal, okay? And now you're going to be free. You're going to be set free because you're about to embark on something brand new here. This is love. This is someone that adores you, someone that cherishes you, someone that wants to take you out of a dark stretch here. This is what I'm seeing here. Your next father eight is telling me that you have to first heal, okay? Heal, heal, heal. Life is calling for healing, okay? All right, so this is going to be your next 48. Um, again, it is Sunday, so happy, happy, happy Sunday, you guys. All right. Um, please do not hesitate to thumbs up your reads for me on your way out because this is how you support your channel. Okay. Um, if you do need to have a prayer request, Scorpio, please let me know simply by leaving your initials in the comment section of this video. Um, I will see you tomorrow, which is Monday. All right. I love you to the moon and stars. Pray for me as I'm always praying for you guys. And with that said, Always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.